Hey everybody, I'm Adam, and I'm Sam, and we are Working Title! Minus Will. Minus Will. Guys, we are back with another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is part one, episode four. Mm -hmm. That's how we'll say it. Mm -hmm. Part, I like that. Sam, it just sounds better. Yes, it does. What happened last episode? Uh, last on, Ed and Al, they went to Lior. Mm -hmm. um, they met some popish kind of guy who was skeevy, uh, kind of lying to the people with fake fake powers, I think, given to him by Glutton, and who I'm still calling Lust for the time being. Mm -hmm. They went on their merry way because it was not, in fact, the Philosopher's Stone. And the only other things are from episode one, too. So I'm just going to ignore it until it becomes relevant again. Sounds good to I'm me. I'm excited to see where they go next because yeah. the world is our oyster mm -hmm. at this point, And I have much to learn. Yeah. So guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure you leave a like, punch that subscription button, notification bell is right there. Leave a comment down below about what you thought of this reaction to this episode or what you thought about the episode in general. Uh, the Patreon is down below if you want to see this show, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, one week in advance, as long as, as well as Vinland Saga, and there might be something else on there. I don't know. We are in a new month. We are. And this is now Market Substitute, guys. If you like to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, make sure you go watch it on any streaming service you can find it on, and then come back and watch your boys, Adam, Will for the time being is not here, and Sam in the next video. We're going to punch it. Bow! I'm going to transmutate Will. No. Just insert a horribly crop. Of, <laughs> and that's what we get because we did dark magic. Ah, oh, shit. Why? It's frown sound. Oh. There we go. Fear, language, and smoking. There you go. TV 14. Like I said last time. It's not an all-powerful art. It is impossible to create something out of nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, after that creepy ass basement scene, I wasn't sure what rating we were getting. Oh, it's pretty messed up. I think your average anime is rated this, except for AOT, that's TVMA. Hmm. I'm not mistaken. I think we'll stop kids from watching it. So this is a shonen. You'll have to hear the muffled version, but <laughs> just enjoy us dancing. Oh, remember AOT? Yes. Oh man, the good oh, old days. Oh gosh, we, we will never get those days no, back. No. That is so depressing. Yeah. But you know what's great? We can come up with something new. There's other shows. Yeah, exactly. Other great shows that are out there. And this is already very promising, so I'm excited. I love this show so much, dude. Yeah. I'm excited. God. I'm really excited. You guys have been really positive about it on Patreon, so I'm really happy. I mean, nobody caps when they say this is the greatest anime ever made. And I've heard that a lot. A lot of people say it. It's always this and Attack on Titan. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped. And there's like a weird nostalgia of like knowing that I've known people who grow up with this, even though I've never been a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like those like the Pokemon thing. Like yeah. I was never a part of it, but I know hundreds of people who were. Exhibit A. An alchemist's anguish. Woo! Look at the size of that moon. Huh. It's been oh boy. Odd. Oh, I thought it was Armstrong. It's another distinguished gentleman, like you. Oh, well, thank you. Foolish alchemists who have turned their backs on the ways of God shall be punished. That's the guy in the rain jacket in the intro. Murderer who's been making a habit of targeting state alchemists lately. Well, this time you picked the wrong target. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. You're fast. Try this. Dang. Okay, that's crazy. Like steel alchemist or something. So difficult. Yeah. Or cast iron, because mm -hmm. he had cannonballs, unless the cannonballs are steel. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe one of the sins? Major, you watch yourself. For all we know, you could be the next one he comes after. Understood. I would hope not. We can't have two mustache men die. <laughs> Three mustache men. You're what am I saying? What brings you here? A man doing this is a traitor. I want him stopped. Havoc, give me a hand, will you? I've got plenty to do over here already. Next up, who's this? More mustache men. Mm -hmm. What is this Remember? episode? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, it even glistened. Hey, oh, wow. it's Edward and Alphonse. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> Go on in. The colonel's expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> well done on the Lior case, you two. Nice work. I appreciate you resolving the matter. No big deal. It's not like we did it for you. <laughs> right. The Philosopher's Stone. Another false lead. Yeah, after all that, the stone was a fake. I still wonder how he was able to use the stone to do that. I'm not familiar enough with the field of bioalchemy to really understand it. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that, too. <laughs> It might be worth looking into. The, the ringing sound of metal. I was off metal. just thinking that. I was like, so dang. Imagine being that kid and having to always hear that, though. Yeah. That would drive me insane. Oh my gosh. The Sewing Life Alchemist, Shao Tucker. He's done some heavy research into chimera transmutation. I'll introduce you. Hmm. You would do that for us? Okay, what's the catch? You want something, don't you? I don't doubt my motives. I'm trying to repay you for your work on the Lior case. Doing you a favor is better than being indebted to you. Two years ago, Tucker transmuted a chimera that could understand human speech. That mm. is certification as a state alchemist. I understand human speech. Human it's gonna end up like the principal from talks? UA. A chimera? Right. Supposedly, it only said one thing. Ew. I want to die. Mm. Man, this house is huge. <laughs> Whoa, doggy. <laughs> Aww. Daddy! There are people out here! Look! Nina, this is why I told you to keep the dog tied up. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mess. Ever since my wife ran out, this place has been a wreck. I'm not much of a housekeeper. Disgusting. Ed is interested in the field of biologic alchemy. He would like to have a look at your research, if that's possible. Oh, yes, certainly. I don't mind. However, if you want me to show you the tricks I've got up my sleeve, it's only fair you show me the tricks you've got up yours as well. It's the code we live by. Equivalent exchange. Mm. Now, um, Share a few well, tricks here and there. Colonel. You transmuted your mother? Mm. As an 11-year-old child? I see. Oh, gosh. So that's what earned you the title Full Metal Alchemist. You've had a rough time of it for someone so young. Alchemist's anguish, I get it. <laughs> well, he should relate sure to the kid it's then. Of any use to you or not. But why don't you go ahead and take a look at my laboratory? Ew. Ah. Oh. I'm fairly widely regarded as an authority on Chimeras, but the truth is, it hasn't actually been going that well lately. What a joke, they're disgusting. Are they supposed to be mutated ugly like that? Yeah. That's what a chimera is. Is that a successful or is it like supposed to be an integrated like? I think like... that's successful. Huh. They've got some ability to focus. I'm not sure they even know we're here anymore. Yeah. Quite a catch, these two. A couple of prodigies. <laughs> it was just a good. <laughs> Is Al the younger brother? Yes. Okay. So it's probably like somebody his age too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be reading. Uh, Nina looked like she wanted to play. Take a break, well, dog. Forgot, we didn't come here to play horsey. <laughs> 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 Sit down, boy. Alexander. Oh, Mr. Tucker, I almost forgot. I've got a message for you. It's from the Colonel. He says, Don't forget, assessment day is coming soon. 
Yes. Please assure him I know. Right. I don't know if I trust this guy. No. Hmm. Hey, Daddy? What does assessment thing mean? I've kind of become Stay indoctrinated to not trust men with circular morning, glasses. Daddy didn't get a very good evaluation. Unless I do something really impressive this year, I won't be a state alchemist anymore. So each year he has to make some crazy chimera to keep his license as an alchemist. That's what the How evaluation crazy does he have to get? Yeah, I feel like it's already a crazy concept. How common is this? Full metal alchemist. Damn! You should get it one more time. <laughs> Full metal alchemist. <laughs> It must get kind of lonely with just you and your dad living in this big house, huh? Aww, I want a dog. My own doggy. I want like a dog like Appa. Like big. I want a big cuddle bug that I can live on. Like a bull mastiff. Yeah. Hey, you mangy mutt! <laughs> Looks like you could do some exercise. <laughs> Let's go too, Nina. I want somebody to ride on top of Yep, there you go. There you go. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't forget, assessment day is coming soon. I was worried that he was going to try to mutate the dog. Yeah. The Chimera. But like with one of the humans. Maybe the certification is the reason. Alchemists were supposed to be pillars of science and truth that turned into the military's walking weapons as soon as they received certification. Look at this man. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of people, I'm sure, who have not forgotten the role that state alchemists played in the Ishbalan Civil War. Ishbalan. Ishbalan. Valen? I have a report, sir. A man with a large scar on his face was sighted in the Central City train station by multiple station employees. Station? Looks like that bastard got away. Look at the size of the sun, too. Before I earned my state alchemist certification, our life was terrible. We were so poor in those days. My wife couldn't stand living that kind of life. So she left us. Oh, I thought the wife died. Mm -hmm. Okay. The daughter said she's living with her parents. Okay. I don't even think I could. Don't worry, Daddy. It's okay. If those people do tell you no, me and Alexander will growl at them until they say yes. <laughs> you tell them, Nina. Hey, Nina. I've got an idea. Do you want to play with Daddy tomorrow? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, kid, put it together. Where is his ch child? When did you first get your state certification? Let's see. It was two years ago. And when did your wife leave you? That was two years ago, too. Oh my gosh. I just have one more question. Wait. Nina and Alexander. Where are, are they? they? Brother! Oh yeah, I figured it out. You did it again! Two years 
it going with your wife? This time, you used your own daughter and her dog to transmute a talking chimera! You can only do so much with animals, after all. That is so effing girl. It's much when you... I would think a scientist should understand. Shut up! Oh my gosh, so all these people are proud. All those are probably people right there. Look at your legs, your arms, your brother. Those things are also the result of messing around with somebody's life, aren't they? Shut up! What a jerk. Crazy ass person. Don't even give him the breath of the room. Is that the dog too? Why is it like talking like a sheep? If you keep this up, he'll die. And Edward, do you Daddy? Do you hurt Daddy? Sorry. Even with all our power, we can't do anything to change you back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll see. You edit this, I realize it's this episode. Just in time, I get to remain a state alchemist. I passed. Twisted person. Take the dog with you. Whatever the hell you want to call the person now. Mr. Tucker's actions in our own may not be all that far apart when it comes to interfering with other people's lives. Hmm. We choose our own path, knowing full Jeez. well what we're doing. The music is amazing. Al and I are still going to get our bodies back. I know the truth. I know we're not devils. I know we're not gods. We're human. Damn right. We're only human! We have some crazy incentive now, because if he gets it to work, he can save her too. I wonder why no one's capable of understanding me. Dude, this guy is so creepy. You're Shao Tucker, correct? Who are you? How did you get in here? There were military police out front. Foolish alchemists who turn their backs on the ways of wrath. He is one of the sins. Maybe he's wrath. She'll be punished. Wrath oh, comes for the good and the bad. Daddy's hurting. Oh. Daddy hurts. No, Daddy. You poor creature. Once you have been given this form, there is no way of separating you. I fucking hate this episode. At least, your passing will be your peace. God. Hear me. Two human souls have just been returned to you. Please accept them into your loving arms. Please grant these poor lost souls everlasting peace. Holy crap. It's like the angel of death. Oh. What the shit? Sorry. What? <laughs> Just skip the episode. I don't, I don't, probably not any credit for this show. Or at least not for that one. Well, actually, AKB sent a, a list to Will, but I don't have it. It's not till six. Hmm. Well, that was a. Uh... Quite an episode. That's the third time I've seen that episode. Yeah. It's one of the most talked about episodes of this show. Really? Yeah. That was weird. That was creepy and that was absolutely depressing. 
I was just saying in the episode before this that I was like, oh man, what if it was extremely depressing? <sighs> kind of killed the vibe. Yeah. This just wow. Slaughtered. The continuation. Yeah. Of that vibe. <sighs> One of the most talked about. Yeah, I get that. I can see why. What a bizarre way to <sighs> jump into like the second adventure of the show. Oh my god, I didn't think this episode happened for, like, I thought this was, like, episode 12 or something. It's fucking episode 4. That is wild. Oh my god. I mean, we You'll have... see, when you edit this, you'll see me go, oh my god, it's this episode. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, trying not, I don't want you to see my reaction, but I'm like, for a solid minute, I'm just looking at the camera like, oh my god, it's this episode. <laughs> I did not notice at all. No. <laughs> when did it hit you? The second they said that there's a uh, alchemist who can combine stuff, who makes oh, chimeras. So that was pretty early. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, I totally missed that. God. Oh, uh, when did you first watch this? A long time ago, maybe four years ago, oh. maybe more than that, four or five. It clearly left an impression. Yeah. I mean, I can't oh, even imagine. I'd never forget this episode. I can't even imagine watching this as a kid. This is so weird. I mean, not weird. It is, like, thoroughly. Um, I mean, I think it's mostly because it's a girl and a dog that are super it's innocent creatures just dog. merged together. And just the way. They can't it, go back. Yeah. Well, now they can't because the dude killed them. Mm-hmm. Like, I had hope that, like, because Alphonse and. Edward are on this journey that if if they can do it, then surely they can fix anyone else. Presumably, all the chimeras in that room, chimeras in that room, back to people. Even the mother, if she's even in there. I think this is on par with the idol transfiguration in Jujutsu Kaisen. There's there's no going back. Even Ed said like we can't even save a little girl. <sighs> yeah. Well, I would hope not because I want I would like to see Al be able to break out of the shelf maybe by the finale of the show mm. one day but well, that's super shit <laughs> um great episode i mean if that's not weird to say i, I think the episode is really good i love and hate this episode it was it good it's hard the, 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 the atmosphere of it was so great creepy and you love the music too you were saying Pretty much as soon as they revealed the girl and that music started to play, was like, there's some, I, I wouldn't call it Harry Potter vibes, but like, oh, you, I got Potter vibes from this. When you, it's right when you're, you're away from the ones that were taken over by Disney, you get into the darker ones, some of Prisoner of Azkaban, but like, oh, those are the scariest ones. Three the, and four the, the are six, The sixth one, where like focus on Snape, yeah. and they go into Inoctum. I'm putting the link in the description so you can check out that song, you'll know exactly what I mean. In Noctum is like this like music. It was supposed to play over a deleted scene that got taken out, but it's like a rainy scene song. And I was just feeling those vibes and I was like, oh, I love this so much. Mm-hmm. I one of my favorite aesthetics are rainy days where like you're inside a house. Oh. You can kind of relatively smell the very small percentage of mold in the air because you haven't had like sun come in everything's kind of still and then you can like smell the moistness of the outside i caught got that that vibe so hard mm-hmm. from this it's also a rainy day out today i love where to we are. sit on my porch and just watch the rain and smoke a cigar yeah it's amazing yeah well I've, i got those vibes so like it's it's comforting to me but it's also like i got a mix on, a flip on the head of like the disturbing portion of it too mm-hmm. but i don't know the music was amazing in this episode i can't wait with all the shows that we're watching right now we're just really getting spoiled with a lot of really great soundtracks vinland even Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. I've already listened to all AOT, but this I, I can't wait to jump into. I will refrain until we're done jumping into it in case there's spoilers in the titles of the songs, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, we'll go back to the Chimera for a second, because that's like the end portion, but there is this dude walking an alchemist. around, He's this an alchemist. alchemist. Oh, oh you're talking about the guy. scar guy. Okay. Yeah, the white-haired man. He's, I'm pretty sure he's the guy in the intro who was, like, chilling like this under the rain or something. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say now, if I had to give a guess, because I know we have, like, these characters starting to pop up, is that he's 
He is either one of the sins, like the people named after the sins that we got out in the world, or he's like, if there is an opposite force, like an opposite force. Like if you have your sins, maybe you have like your archangels. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was getting two vibes. Either when Will, when I was asking Will, like what would violence be if you had to call it a sin? He was saying wrath. I, if that's the case for the show, I could understand that. But normally I think wrath applies to like what, where you would have archangel type of characters. Cause wrath is like presumably like the wrath of God. It, the Old Testament of like put your the lamb's blood over the house and it, it would depend whoever type of person you are you'll be fine and then whatever person you are that don't do it mm-hmm. you will be d- undiscriminately killed even if you were a good person or bad if you don't do it you're dead I would say pride you think pride he, he, be, be violence because like oh, okay I'm better than you die okay that that works yeah well because I, I wasn't sure though I but I was like I don't know if this guy falls under those sins because. He came and he took the girl's life and the dad's life. He didn't even give like the chance of anything after. He just came and kind of cleansed it of its curse. I loved he said he started talking to God like, God, yeah. I just sent you two souls. Well, it felt like he just clen- cleansed the place of whatever dark darkness was over there. I mean, I, I'm, I would even say that he wouldn't kill all those chimeras in that place if... If this guy works on his own accord, maybe yeah. he just thinks chimeras are like a twisted thing that humans shouldn't even make. Like maybe that's like, te- I mean, people call it taboo, but maybe it's like, or sorry, they call human transfiguration uh, or mutation taboo, but maybe mm-hmm. like to this guy, any form of mutation is like not good. So maybe he's just going and killing anything. I, I well, was super curious who did, he is. Did you... Did you catch anything when Armstrong was talking with Hughes? They were talking about these killings that are happening. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't catch it. Um, they brought was... up... He's mainly targeting alchemists. State alchemists. And, okay, that, that's what I was going to say, though. I was going to say, if I, did, I didn't hear the conversation, but because he killed the steel alchemist, I would assume, in general, maybe he thinks alchemists aren't good people, mm-hmm. aren't messing with stuff they shouldn't mess with. And then he killed that guy who was also an alchemist all the more reason why I'm saying he, he seems more like a, this archangel who's just knocking out people who are messing with stuff. Maybe he's even hunting down um, Elric, the Elric uh, brothers. Who knows? Maybe mm-hmm. he'll be an antagonist to them. That would be crazy, too, if it's like not only are these kids are probably eventually going to run into like the sins, but maybe even like the archangels. Like They are being hunted by both parties, mm-hmm. the, the light and the dark, and they're yeah. stuck in the middle. That'd be insane. Yes, I have a lot of interest in that character. That's a really fascinating character. I yeah, want to you know call, more about him. You call him, uh, you call him Death too. I called him Wrath as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. the Angel of Death yeah. is the one who kills the people in uh, mm-hmm. Egypt. Yeah, I think it's Egypt mm-hmm. um, in the Old Testament the mm-hmm. Bible. If you believe that, if you don't, um, and then uh, well, I was also saying just the idea of like if you could have Wrath as a person and from any idea any ideology just this thing of thing thing of things that just comes and takes what he wants to take yeah which is terrifying (laughs) as a person i mean he's just like yeah insane so they if we if we want to continue breaking down the episode they go to see this alchemist because they want to read his research about how he does this stuff to potentially help them try to get their bodies back Okay, that's the reason. Yeah. I thought they were just following up on maybe the loose ties of that one chimera they found with the Pope. So they just want to find somebody who can do that in general. Remember, they got all the military's resources to, and all their knowledge. That's it right there, some of it. Well, they got to be more... Uh, I don't know, even the government might be shady in that. They might be supporting that guy. Yeah. I mean, they how they were. They, they were the ones encouraging him to come up with new ideas every time. Yeah. Weren't they? Mm-hmm. He said I had to appease them. Don't you love it? You can't just have a government that's like good people. It's always like something's <laughs> wrong with the, or something. the higher ups. Ugh, man, it would be nice to have like one show where it's like you can definitely trust them, mm-hmm. and it's the other people that you can't trust. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then of course, did we get a name for the little girl? I didn't catch Nina. Her name. Nina. And the dog is Alexander. Alexander. Yeah. They played, had a good time with them. The father had been lying to his daughter, saying that the mother left and wanted to go live with her parents. And then later on, you found Ed pieces it together. You transformed your wife 
into a chimera. Yeah, I, I don't know. There was a moment where I, I, it just hit me. I was like, this guy's gonna do it to his daughter. I don't know where it was, but I felt it. Um, it was. I, I think I know when it, when it, when it was. When he said, "Hey, Nina, do you want to, do you want to play with Daddy tomorrow?" Yes. Yeah. There was there was one moment where it distinctly it hit me, and I was like, "Shoot, wait." It's be- what well, we skipped over the all alchemists have like an assessment day where they have to prove that they're still alchemists, mm-hmm. and he had to do a very out of this world chimera transformation, and his was it can speak and understand you. Yeah. Oh yeah. He also because his first one two years ago it, it could understand you, word. but the only thing it said was, "I want to die." You think that was the mom? That's what Ed was saying. He thinks that was yeah. one? Oh, man. Because he said, when did you become a state alchemist? Two, Two years, years ago. ago. When did your wife disappear? Two, Two years, years ago. ago. And that's also when he got his license to be chimera mm-hmm. making. That's so wild. I mean, I will never be able to mentally understand why the guy... How the fuck could you do that? Like, yeah, I, I just don't get it. So I'm not even going to try to rationale with it it's just uh she's so full of life and just happy yeah dude if this if this like if that reveal didn't get revealed for like many episodes i'd be even more heartbroken Mm -hmm. i mean that's 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 already terrible in the first episode i can't even imagine if this like i draw on out and then you got told later i'm glad they got it over with quick so i don't have to like get invested with the the little girl and the dog yeah (laughs) but and I'm sure it's even worse because you don't like when dogs get messed up either. I mean, that, that's twofold. That's, you get a little child and a dog. Yeah, that's worse. They didn't even choose like Vinland where you get one or the other. Yeah. You just get both yeah. of them both together. Them. Man, I want to know Will's thoughts on this I one. I know. Shoot, I was just what a, thinking what an like, episode for him to not I was be just think, for. It was like either one or two recordings ago, I was like, oh man, Will, I can't wait to watch this episode with Will. And then it's like, fuck! Don't damn get it, to. Oh, damn it. We'll get his thoughts uh, before we jump into... Uh, he won't be back for the next episode either, but he'll be back for episode six. So we'll get get some of his thoughts before we jump into... Um, or we'll do it at the end that, so you can get like thorough thoughts yeah. um, for episode six. So stay tuned for that so we can get some of Will's thoughts. We'll ask him to rewatch. I'm sure that'll be painful for him yeah, too if, it, yeah. if this is like some like talked about episode. Yeah. I just, I hate how that thing looked, man. What yeah, the fuck? Definitely fudge? the voice. That was so weird. Yeah. They looked like a lamb. It didn't even look like a dog anymore. Yeah. I, it looked like a very miniature male, like, lion. And the feet, too. Like, yeah. kangaroo-ish or, like, cat-like, where it, like, yeah. it, like kind of bends mm-hmm. the wrong way. Or, I guess, the right way, depending on the creature. Um... And the long hair of the girl got extended all the way down its back. And its eyes, just black around it, just white pupils. Disgusting. It's so foul. It's so sad. Yeah. I'm actually relatively glad. If there is no out of that, I'm glad that the guy just put it down. That's, I wanted to know too. I'm glad he put it out of his misery. Yeah, I mean, that's like the worst life. Yes. You can only have one phrase and you can't get your point across. And all you can really do is lick or love the the dad that just did that to you uh, they kept the bloody creature the chimera with him mm-hmm. why <laughs> why would you do that why the guy's not even locked up yeah, I, well, what the there, hell? there was military outside so i'm assuming he's on house arrest okay yeah it's, well it doesn't matter now he's dead but and poor poor ed yeah poor ed now what a f- horrible first encounter after uh beginning their new journey to horribly yeah. remind them of their probably their issue that they dealt with too. It's definitely a recall for their mother. So terrible. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I'm, yeah. I sure as hell hope the next episode is not as depressing yeah. as this one. I need mm-hmm. something to boost my spirit before I leave tonight. Yeah, <laughs> oh seriously, my gosh. I'm with you. Seriously, I don't know the last time I cried, but I cried very, yeah, very much. I had uh, some good tears. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we lost power for oh, a second. Oh, oh, oh. We're still good over here, though, on oh, our end. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> it never happened before. Before we give somebody epilepsy yeah. surgeries, we're just going to wrap up real quick, so don't look at the lights. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you thought of this absolutely asinine, insane 
return to this crazy thing for you guys? What were your thoughts returning to this episode? How did you feel about our reaction? Did you enjoy it? For the time being, we will see you. If you want to check out Patreon, you can get these a week in advance. Sometimes we're going to do two. Sometimes we're going to do one ahead of it. But for the time being, we are going to punch it. See ya. Bye.